Moving on now to another piece of Nebraska history. Yeah, there are a lot of famous faces to come out of Nebraska, including one of the biggest names in 1940s Hollywood. Joining us now with more on this is Chris Goforth with History Nebraska. Good morning, Chris. Oh, good morning to you both. Yeah, so uh, what do you have for us today? So born in Philly, Nebraska and raised most of his childhood in Beatrice, Robert Taylor became one of Hollywood's biggest stars. But in 1947, he also testified before the House Committee of un-American activities about potential communist influence in Hollywood. So the United States and the Soviet Union, they were allies during World War II, but then became intense rivals by the late 1940s. In the U.S., some members of Congress said that communist infiltrators were working to influence Americans and overthrow the U.S. government. Robert Taylor was, again, one of those big names in Hollywood at the time, and he was also a founding member of the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. That included such people as Walt Disney, John Wayne, Clark Gable, Ginger Rogers, and Ronald Reagan. So in October of 1947, Taylor was subpoenaed to testify before that House committee. And because Taylor was well known for his political views, the press called him a, quote, friendly witness. In his testimony, he had said that he had, quote, seen indications what seemed to me be to be signs of communist activity in Hollywood, end quote. He added that a number of movie scripts seemed to lean that way as well. And Taylor also during his testimony named a small handful of people in Hollywood that he thought may be influencers, but he never specifically labeled anyone as communist. Those actors he named were later blacklisted from Hollywood. As for Taylor, after the hearing, he continued to make movies up until the year before his death in 1967. Wow, that's really amazing to kind of think about, you know, the power of what he, you know, the voice of him and how he had an influence on, uh, on, on things, it, you know, as far as like speaking out about this communist, supposed communist activity in Hollywood. Yeah, he was very influential during the 1940s, being involved in a lot of different organizations that were set on the ideals of what America should be. And of course, with the Cold War just beginning with the United States and the Soviet Union, there was a, a lot of great concern about how that communist influence could be viewed or, or could be uh, set in front of the American people. And he was one of those people that uh, was uh, an adamant force in Hollywood at that time. And it's, it's one of those uh, opportunities where we get to say he's also from Nebraska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very Ap interesting. Appropriate topic too, because we had the Golden Globes last night. So. We did, yes. Mm -hmm. And if people wanna learn more about Robert Taylor, maybe connections to Hollywood Nebraska may have, how can they do that? Yeah, so head to our website, history.nebraska.gov. You can read more about this story, including watching a, a video of Robert Taylor in that specific committee doing his testimony. And of course, we always love to share content on all of our social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or X, whatever you're calling it <laughs> these days. And uh, we encourage people to follow along because uh, we're always posting a lot of great stuff there. You okay. know, you're right. When I look for Twitter on here, I see the X. I'm like, what is that? I never know. <laughs> I still call it Twitter. I mean, I even type Twitter.com when I go there. So I, I, until that completely changes, I'm, I'm still going to call it Twitter because I'm just stuck in my ways. <laughs> I know it. All right, Chris, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>